You know what they say, email just makes more email. And that's why I'm here to show you how to write a script that makes that email for you, creating an unending loop of email. Y'all, is this better? Oh, okay. All on this episode of App Script in a Snap. So far, you've seen the power of App Script, compared bound and unbound scripts, learned all about services and custom menus, and explored triggers. That means you're ready to build your first script. One of the original and most popular uses for App Script is adding extra functionality to a Google Sheet, and that's going to be our first script. And yes, we're going to send an email. Start by creating a new Google Sheet. Just type sheets.new in your browser. It's a nifty trick. You should try it with docs and slides, too. I'm going to name the spreadsheet App Script Map Example because I just can't stand leaving sheets untitled. Now we'll start with putting an address in cell A1. Any global valid street address will work, assuming it has a postcode or a city and state, city and province. I'm going to use Google's address. Send me a postcard. Now, we want to make a bound script. If you need more information here, there's a video for that. Click Tools, Script Editor. This will open the App Script Code Editor with a new blank script waiting to be created. Let's title this project, and now we turn our focus to our default function. Every time you create a new script, you'll have an empty My function auto created for you. You can use this, or you can start with your own. I want to write Send Map, and this is where we'll meet our first special Google service, Spreadsheet App, to get a reference to the current spreadsheet. With spreadsheets, it all comes down to being able to retrieve the values stored in the cells. And that starts with retrieving a range. You can do this with row and column indices or by using A1 notation. A range can then be iterated through. I've skipped straight to the getting the value because my range is only one cell. I mean, this is the first script after all. But this is your first challenge. Take the time to play with get range and figure out how to iterate through multiple cells in that range. Now, we'll use another Google service. Maps. We'll create a static map, because I'm very creative when it comes to simple demos, and we'll add a pin to mark the address. Finally, we'll use a third Google service to craft and send an email. Gmail app! Sending an email only requires a recipient, a subject, and an email body. However, you can also provide options for things like attaching a map. This is another good thing to play around with. Optional parameters are the key to creating the perfect solution for your needs. Time to save your file. Yes. Really. Saving it is what triggers the code to compile, so click the button and fix any errors. Then you can run the script by clicking Run, Run Function, and choosing our Send Map function. Now, Maps is a Google service, but it's not a special service for the bound scripts. This means it will need to be authorized the first time it runs for a user. Authenticate the app and watch the map magically appear in your inbox. Here's your second challenge. Can you make a custom menu that will run the script when clicked? I bet you can. Pretty cool, eh? Just think about it. You have four lines of code that access three different Google products in a meaningful way. Not bad for a first script, right? Subscribe to the G Suite YouTube channel for more great tips, and stay tuned for more App Script in a snap.